Welcome to the ATL. Bobby Dodd Stadium in the heart of downtown Atlanta, home to the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. The Ramblin' Wreck ready to roll here today. We've got a really compelling contest here. A team that's earned a top 25 ranking heading on the road for a serious test of their poise and their mettle. As we'll see the number 11 team in the country, the Florida State Seminoles, taking on another ACC team, the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. And the Seminoles will kick this deep to get us going. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. So the Yellow Jackets offense has the football first here today. And there's the star running back jogging out of the field. He is trying to add to his huge highlight reel, Kirk. Chris, honestly, I don't think we've seen too many running backs who can duplicate what this guy can do on the field. He's got everything. Vision, speed, power. He can diagnose a defense in real time. We're really excited to see this kid play. Well, I think we can all see how tough it is to control this guy under center today for this defense. But they did a nice job of keeping him contained. But they've got to stay focused. They can't get lazy because we could see him breaking one any moment against this defense. Second down after that run on the previous play to throw it's king that's going to be incomplete a lot of contact no flag brings up third down what a hit there by the defender tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact good clean play by the defense on this opening possession they'll face a third down and five from the shotgun he's probing the secondary this one's going to fall incomplete. Brings up fourth down. Gosh, I, I just love to watch this defense fly around. Great job here on third down. Look at it. You're on the road. Things are going against you early in the game. And you block all of that out. And you're running around with confidence making plays. And the Yellow Jackets will have to kick this away. On a punt now for the first time today. And the return man decides to signal fair catch. So Florida State's offense out there for their first possession. If there's one guy in this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher. Very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket. And also, he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. See, that's how you limit what an offense wants to do. This time, the defense just won the battle up front at the line of scrimmage, not giving up any big plays. Everybody's gap sound. It's really solid defense on that play. The shotgun running play call and brought down at the line with that big defensive tackle. That back just had nowhere to go. Got to give credit to the defense and their run fits on that play. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Wow, lays out and makes a spectacular catch. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. Chris, when that quarterback threw that football, I didn't think that play had much of a chance. How about the effort by this wide receiver to lay out and come up with that completion for positive yards? The Knowles getting set on first and ten. Trying to find room. It's Williams. And tackled after a small pickup there. Nice solid run here by this back. Did a nice job of just kind of finding that lane. Pick up some positive yards there on first and ten. Offense getting set. Second down play here. And now the running back's got it again. Stopped short of the marker after just a short game. That run sets up an important third down call for this offense. And now they run the draw play. 
The game picks up the first down, tackled at the 37. You know, offensive linemen are just a certain breed. They're always going to do their job, no matter who's back there carrying the ball. I'll tell you what, they have a little bit more confidence when the person that's carrying the ball can break off some big-time runs. That makes him block just a little bit harder knowing what he's potentially capable of doing. And the quarterback keeps it here. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no game. That's exactly how you want to defend the option. You know, an old-school way is assigned to football. You have to win account for the quarterback, the pitch man. Here, the quarterback had really nothing other than just kind of lower his head and get as much as he could. Fortunately for the defense, it wasn't very much. Quick pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. You know, the good thing about this play is it's not an explosive play, but it really gives you a chance now to be able to pick up a first down here on this next play. It's third down for the offense. They call the draw play here. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. Well, it seemed like the offense is trying to throw some kind of misdirection with that run there. But give credit to the defense. They were prepared for anything, and they swallowed that running back up. Nice defensive stand. So on fourth down now, out comes the field goal unit. He missed it. With that miss, no change in the score. That's a missed opportunity for some points here. The way they were moving the football, I thought maybe a touchdown at the very least three points, but instead, he shanks it. Here comes the Georgia Tech offense back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Here's the second down play. Looking to pass. It's King. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And they wrap him up after the completion just short of the first down marker. Quarterback looks downfield to make this throw. He wants to be able to get the ball to be able to pick up enough yards for a first down. But instead, he gets the ball at least underneath to the drag route and gets some positive yards. Offense moving closer to the line again after that catch. Quarterback still with the football. Gets into space at the 50. And this offense picks up the first down. They tackle it at the 44. Boy, this offense does such a great job of putting the threat of the quarterback and the running back on this defense. It puts the defense in a tough spot because it's really hard to take both away. This time, the quarterback gets out and shows you the speed he has as well. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. You know, in the era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense has countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense. Has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. Second down after that run on the previous play. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. Caught for the completion, and uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. Well, the defense sits back in a zone coverage. Good job here by the quarterback, recognizing that soft coverage, and he hits the routine drag route underneath for a first down. The Yellow Jackets are going to keep this drive rolling. Kibi decides to keep it here. And that run produces a decent game. Well, there's just so many things happening on these read option plays, and they happen fast. This defense has done a good job of trying to prevent this quarterback from hitting the big play. He gets some yards here, but at least he didn't get out for a big gainer. Second down after that run on the previous play. And there's the handoff. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. 
my gosh, this offensive line's got to do a better job of blocking. The defense was zeroed in on the ball carrier and absolutely nowhere to go for the offense. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Looking to throw, it's King. Fires it to the wideout. He's a wide open receiver, complete. Tackle is made at the eight yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. Now that's what I call coming through for your team in a pressure situation. Great read, got the ball where it needed to go, and now you're set up to get six. And the Yellow Jackets come to the line with first and goal. Tight end goes in motion. They'll try to run it in on first and goal. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. You know, the real estate gets tight inside the 10-yard line. You love a play caller who has the ability to either run it or throw it. Because that puts so much pressure on that defensive coordinator to know how to line up. It's not just a one-dimensional attack he's dealing with. That's a second and goal play for the offense. Trying for the end zone, running it right up the gut. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. you got a real shot to come up with a stop here, whether they run it or throw it. You get a stop here, maybe holding the three points. The offense will line up, chance for a couple more plays before the end of the quarter. Third and goal, looking to throw the ball. And he's got it! Touchdown, Yellow Jackets! That kind of play is almost impossible to defend. When the quarterback is throwing the ball with that kind of accuracy and timing, and the receiver runs a route like this, good luck trying to stop it. So maybe this is a great start for this combination, this quarterback and receiver, for a big day. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7-0 to open scoring. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. This should be the last play of the quarter coming up. Looking to throw it on first down. Short connection to the tight end here. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. So Georgia Tech has the lead here, Kirk. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. It's a draw play. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, the defensive coordinator has to be fired up about this play. The thing that he has to love is that his defense and their technique was right on point. They didn't lose their leverage. They stayed with the play and didn't just go after the quarterback. Second down play coming up for this offense. There's some pre-snap movement back in motion. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. That solid pursuit, they'll trap him out there behind the line of scrimmage. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. A tough situation with the offense. Third and long from their 25. Let's see if the defense brings some heat here. Dropping back, it's Uyangala light. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Well, Chris, obviously they had to go through the air there to try to pick up this third down and long. But when you're so far behind the chains, you really allow this defense to dictate things. And it allows them to put pressure on your quarterback and can affect the timing, as we saw on this play. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. The fair catch made at the 30-yard line. And here comes the Georgia Tech offense back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here or the defense come up with a stop? 
And it's incomplete on the overthrow. Just too much on that ball. Man, Chris, I don't know if that was a bad read by the quarterback or a bad route by the receiver. They got to get this cleaned up before the next time they go through the air. Incompletion sets up a second down. And he'll set up to throw. Trying to create outside the pocket now. Slides down to avoid the tackle. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. That one is incomplete. The defender was right there, and it brings up fourth down now. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. No kick it away here. With the return, it's Douglas. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. They tackle him right at the 35-yard line. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think they're going to run, maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. To throw, it's Uyangalale. The pocket breaking down. Receiver makes the catch. Take it down, but not before he makes the first down. A new set of downs after that completion. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. Quick, really nice throw here to the slot receiver, and I love the quickness that he has after the catch. He's essentially a running back playing at that slot position. That's how dangerous he is after he makes a catch. Now it's second down here. Receiver in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. He stopped just short of that first down marker, inches away from it. And that jet sweep action puts so much pressure on a defense. You get so locked in on the ball attacking you downhill. But when offenses sprinkle this kind of offense in, it stretches this defense out wide and can create some vertical seams for big plays. Can he make it to the marker? Breaking tackles. Breaks loose at the 40. Oh, and nothing but green grass ahead. Brought down at the three. That was a solid run. What a job by this back. Keep moving those legs, and he picks up big yards. The defender's just bouncing off of him. Nobody wraps him up. And look at all the yards he picks up. After the big gainer, suddenly a great chance to score. First and goal from the three. It's a quarterback keeper. And he'll make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Seminoles. Chris, I don't care what era we're talking about in college football. Defending the option when it's really well executed, one of the toughest things a defense can do. And this quarterback deserves a lot of credit. A great feel of when to pull it and when to give it. This time he keeps it himself for the touchdown. See if they can convert the point after.
And he knocks it right through. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Return starts from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Georgia Tech offense is back out there. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. It's a good, solid game. Five or six yards. Love to see that from the running game. Game makes it second and medium. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Good pass. Here comes a jet sweep. Brought down, but it's past the line to gain. A nice little simple touch pass here by the quarterback, getting the ball out to the receiver who's in motion. Look, that doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, and no offense is ever going to say no to moving the chains. First and ten play coming up. Back to pass. It's King. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. Brings up second down. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. Second down after the incompletion. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Caught on the outside, it's Lane. And he'll make his way out of bounds after gaining decent yardage. Well, if you're not careful as a quarterback, this is the kind of route that defensive back wants to jump and get in front of for an interception and maybe a touchdown going the other way. But this time, the receiver runs it well, brings it in, and then gets out of bounds. On third and short, they try to pick it up on the ground. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, sometimes it's just a backyard brawl, right? I mean, it's third down and short. You trust your back and the line to be able to pick up the first down. And he literally pushes with everything he has, throwing a haymaker there at the finish of that play to pick up the first down. The Yellow Jackets pick up enough yardage to keep this drive rolling. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. It's an out route. The catch made. Chris, it's so much fun to watch the athleticism at the wide receiver position nowadays. The ability to make plays on the outside is extraordinary. And they bring a certain toughness, too, that catches my eye. Pass complete. It's second down now. Looking for a gap. It's Haynes. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Chris, you know, the spread error over the years has always grown offensively, but what I've been always impressed with the defenses that really build their defense to play in space still have an ability to be sound at the line of scrimmage and defend a running game. It's exactly what we saw right there. Looking to pass. It's King. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Boy, third down and short. They decide to throw the football Roll the dice a bit. Doesn't work out. Now you're at fourth and short. You got to wonder, with this offensive line and this running back, do you run the football to convert, or do they try to go through the air again? This one is out of bounds, and that'll give the offense great field position. First down here. Time for one more play before the clock stops for the two-minute warning. They're going to run it. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no gain. Well, that's an excellent effort here by this defense, staying in their run fits, they holding their own at the line and making the tackle. The offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get anything going there. Offense getting set. It's second down. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Pulls it in. It's Lee. They bring him down at the 45 at a solid gain to keep this drive going. The quarterback was selling that he was going to throw the ball downfield, and I think the defense fell for it. Instead, he goes to the curl route, and I think it really caught this defense off guard. We'll get to the line here in the no huddle.
First down, looking to throw the ball. Caught near the sticks. It's Douglas. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the plus 40. You know, we talked this week with the offensive coordinator about what makes this receiver so special. He kept referring to his route running. Here's an example of that. Great route, enough separation to give the quarterback a nice lane to throw the football. The Seminole starting a new series here on first and ten. Caught over the middle. It's Benson. Tackle made at the 21. This offense in great scoring position now. You know, this is what makes this receiver so dangerous. If you play him in man, he can run by you for a big play. You decide to sit back in zone, and he's got the savvy and instincts to be able to find that soft spot in the zone, make a catch, and be dangerous after the catch as well. Signs the quick throw. Heads out of bounds as a short gain on the play. Anytime a quarterback and a receiver are in sync, you've got a chance to make a very successful play. Great job here by the offense. And the Knowles looking to cash in this red zone trip. Back to throw again. Catch made, looking for the goal line. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Well, it's so easy to get caught up in the receivers and the quarterback and your eyes get lost. You forget about the running back. Nice catch and a first down for this offense. And the Seminoles looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. Looking downfield, it's Wiangalale. Defense is coming after him. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. Second down and goal now for this offense. From the gun, he looks for an open man. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Florida State. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. Kicking team on now for the extra point. The extra point is good, so it's 14 7. So the offense getting some momentum before halftime of the touchdown. Now they kick off in hopes the defense can get a quick stop. He's going to return it from near the goal line. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And here comes the Georgia Tech offense back out on the field. They've got a choice here in the final minute. Do they get aggressive, try to cut into this lead, or play it safe and point toward the second half? Get some space around the 30. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Timeout is called a tuck strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. Game moves the ball to the 43. First down coming up. To the air. It's King. Running out of time in the pocket. Offense stops the clock with their second timeout to talk strategy. Nothing is more gratifying for a defense to be able to sit back and play zone and still get pressure on the quarterback with your defensive front. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. Grab down the middle. It's Singleton. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. How about the arm strength from this quarterback? He really didn't have any other option than to put it right in there and give it everything that he had. Great timing. and a... It's picked off. He tried to fire the ball into a tight window. Can he take it all the way? Touchdown, Knowles. And the defense joins the party with a pick six. Great job here by the backer, just mirroring the quarterback, reading his eyes, and then stepping in front of that throw. Comes up with it, and then he goes back to high school, shows you what he can do with a ball in his hands, takes it in for a touchdown.
So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good. They're pulling ahead now, 21-7. So after the touchdown, here's the kickoff, and we'll see if the opposing offense has time to answer before halftime. Here we're turning from inside the 10-yard line. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. Turns on the speed. Can he make it? Touchdown, Georgia Tech. He'll stroll into the end zone. We knew this returner was a dangerous guy. That was an electrifying play all the way to the house. Chris, it was great blocking, but the guy just looked so natural back there. As far as once he got his hands on the ball, it was like he was setting up his blocks, knowing exactly where he wanted to go. And then once he hit it right around midfield, nobody was catching. And they'll set up for the PAT. The extra point is good, but down by a touchdown, 21-14. So an important touchdown just before halftime. Not much time for the opposing offense to try to answer before the break. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Looks like they'll take a knee in the final play and head to halftime with the lead. Somewhat conservative call, but content to take this lead into the locker room. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in Atlanta. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. And the Yellow Jackets will kick this away to start the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. Back to throw. It's to Iangalale. Receiver makes the grab. This is an example of a quarterback in his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. Take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? They flip it to him on the jet sweep. And the defense grabs him after the completion. He's just short of a first down. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Try and muscle for the first down. The Knowles pick up enough yards to move the sticks. How impressive have these guys been up front today. Big third down, know what you need to do, get the first down, continue to hold on to that lead, continue to work clock, and get that much closer to securing a victory. The Seminoles lining up here on first and ten. Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Caught over the middle. It's Douglas. That is a huge play. Finally brought down at the 46-yard line. But good job with the offensive line giving his quarterback time to throw. And you can see the damage he can do to you when he does have time. A great throw and something you just kind of expect in Tallahassee. A quarterback that can make throws like this. And the Knowles looking to keep this drive moving. Keeping it on the ground here. No way to run up the middle. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. Getting set. Here's second down. Now 
And now they'll run it on the draw. A crucial eight-yard gain sets up a makeable third and two. Boy, trolls and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Can he get there on the ground? Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Well, they don't block the defensive end. who shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Finds his man, has the first down. Brought down to the 27. It's a first down. This offense really threatening now. Well, Chris, here's an example of what we always talk about. On fourth down, the receiver's got to run a route beyond the sticks. Great awareness to know exactly where he is. Quarterback makes the throw. Receiver gets hit, but he's beyond the sticks for the first down. Off the play fake on first down. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Oh, it's going to be incomplete. Very lucky to avoid an interception there. Whiskey throw. Boy, not only did they drop what looked like an interception in their own end zone, they blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum in their favor. Incomplete, so it's second down and ten. A pop pass on the jet sweep. And he's tackled, but only after picking up a first down. The defense has got to do a much better job here of adjusting to the pre-snap motion. They just kind of stayed in place, and it gave the receiver plenty of room there to make a nice play. And the Seminoles looking to punch it in here. It's first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. Well, that was that excellent linebacker with a clear path just running downhill quickly. You know, I think one of the great things about watching this guy play all year is his vision. He just has great instincts. That time, the defensive line ate up all the linemen, freed up the linebacker to get into the backfield, and the result is a tackle for a loss for the backer. Looking to throw. It's Uyangalale. Makes the grab. Can he get there? And he heads out of bounds after gaining a few yards. Defenses all around the country have got to do a better job of keeping an eye on these little guys from the slot. They can dismantle a defense with their speed and quickness in the open space. After a long drive, it's a crucial four-point play. Can they score a touchdown or have to settle for three? Trying to throw for it on third and goal. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Hey, the good news is here, Chris, they're still in field goal range, and they didn't cost themselves any points. But they could have more. They've got to be thinking about going for this on fourth and short. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. So it'll be a chip shot from the right hash mark. Field goal try, no good. And after the miss, it's still a seven-point lead. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. And here comes the Georgia Tech offense back out on the field. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Bringing pressure. And the defender gets a hand in there to break the pass up. Second down play coming up. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Grab down the middle. It's Singleton. Tackled at the 44, but good enough for a first down. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. The Yellow Jackets looking to crank up the tempo a bit.
to throw. It's King. And they hit him just as he releases the ball. It's incomplete. Kind of a fine line here, Chris, for me when it comes to throwing a screen pass. You don't want to throw it too early, obviously, and the defense reacts quickly and can sniff it out. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late and potentially get sacked. You've got to make sure it hits just right for this play to work. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And it's incomplete, just out of the reach of the receiver. Well, they don't make the completion here. The timing seemed to be off between a quarterback and the receiver. But, man, this defensive coordinator, he may want to consider getting more pressure on this quarterback by changing some things up. He's got a lot of time back there to throw the ball. And eventually, that's going to cost you. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Fires it to the wideout. Catch made down the left side, an explosive play. This offense picks up the first down. They tackle it with the 44. This is a big conversion by this offense. They're down now in the second half. Probably limited opportunities at this point in the game. Every chance you get your hands on the ball, you need points. They keep this drive alive right here. And the Yellow Jackets pick up first down yardage to keep the drive going. Caught in the backfield. It's Singleton. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. I love the call here with the wide receiver screen, but where's he going to go? The blockers do not do their job and open up any running lanes at all. Important second down play coming up. Caught behind the line. It's Lane. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. Man, put a star next to that play. It's like the linebacker knew the ball was going to be going to this receiver. So it's the instincts, and then it's the awareness and the athletic ability to be able to bring down a wide receiver for a loss like that. Looking to chuck it again. He's moving out of the pocket. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Well, the quarterback knew the one thing he can't do here is take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. Now, he didn't pick up the first down, but he gave him a shot. And I think he'll get some love from his guys for that effort. The Yellow Jackets will bring their punt team on the field now. He's on to boot it away now. And the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. The offense gets a second chance of points here after that special team's roughing penalty. Man, you know, the back gets a lot of the attention here, and he's a good back. I love to see that offensive line win the battle of the line of scrimmage. Second down after that previous play. Takes the handoff again. They stop him, but it's a first down. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. And the Yellow Jackets with first and ten here. And the single back takes the handoff. Offense comes up to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before the quarter expires. Change of pace now looking to throw the football. Quarterback leaves the pocket on the move now. Will he score here? Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. This offense really clicking. What a weapon for this offense. A quarterback who can flash the speed and finish a touchdown drive just like that. How about being the defensive coordinator? You've got everything covered. You make the right call. And all of a sudden, this guy is so athletic and so gifted with his ability to improv, you can't contain him. You better come up with another scheme, and you better put two or three defenders on this quarterback. 
And they'll set up with a PAT. The PAT is up and good, so we're tied up here in the third quarter. We get to the end of three. It's been a tremendous competitive battle, Kirk, as we check out some of the stats so far. Let's see how this fourth quarter unfolds. Everything to play for here for both teams. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. And it's field and Berturner trying to create good field position here. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Florida State offense heads back onto the field. Opening play of the drive, quick throw to the left. To get him down quickly, not much of a gain on that completion. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. Second down after that run on the previous play. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. And they'll tackle him about the 23-yard line. Well, they didn't bust that for a big play, but it makes this third down coming up a little bit more manageable, and that certainly has a lot of value. Solid gain on the running play. Third down now. Scanning the field. It's Uyangalale. Here's a screen pass to the running back. They make the stop, but not before he gains the first down. The screen play works. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. First down here for this offense. And the quarterback keeps it on the option. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Oh, gosh, give this defense all the credit in the world. They had their eyes in the right position playing assignment football. Quarterback just looking for daylight. Couldn't find anywhere to go there on the keeper on the option. Again, that's great assignment football by the defense. After a first down loss, it's second and long from the 23. He's running out of time here. Running back has it on the screen now. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. One thing I love about this back is how he gets involved in the passing game. Nice catch here. That completion sets up a third down play. They'll try to run for the first down. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Yeah, I love how the back didn't really dance around trying to make a big play. He knew it was third down in inches, lower the shoulder, get the first down. The Knowles will try to keep this drive moving. And then first down, right back to the running game. Solid run, tackled at the 45-yard line. I tell you, to be able to pick up a nice game like that, those offensive linemen have to sustain their blocks. Gave them a chance in a really nice game. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Quarterback keeps the football. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Boy, the quarterback does everything right except pitch the football. The defensive end's going to take him, which is great. That's what you want. But you got to get that ball out quicker to not allow that defensive end to make that play. The offense facing a tough conversion here. Third and long from the 42. Dropping back. They're going to throw for the first down. Looking for his big tight end. Oh, and it's intercepted. Terrible mistake late in the game. And that's a solid return after the interception. Oh, Chris, you're in the fourth quarter. It's a tie game, and you throw an interception. Oh, my goodness. I know it's obvious, but you just got to take care of the football. It's that simple. Now their opportunity to take the lead is lost, and everything is flipped in the other direction.
the Georgia Tech offense is back out there. A beautiful balanced drive reached the end zone last time. Can they keep it going here? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Chris, I think we all kind of get caught up in third down. What, what's an offense doing on third down? But I think what's also important is how well do you defend first down. If you can hold your opponents to a short gain or a tackle for a loss, you throw the offense out of whack, and their game plan gets much more challenging to try to come up with that first down. Short pass finds the tight end. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. On the ground, it's Haynes. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Chris, that play just didn't have much of a chance at all from the snap. Quarterback hands this off, and there's just nowhere to go. It's almost like the defense was anticipating the play call, and they put themselves in a position to come up with a nice tackle for a loss. Here's the second down play. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Caught over the middle. It's Singleton. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. I really like the throw here, Chris, but the fake off the play action was just as effective. You saw the second-level defenders freeze for a split second, and that helps open those passing windows. First and goal. The offense with an opportunity for a go-ahead score here in the final minutes. Trying to run. It's Haynes. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. They jump in front here in the fourth. Well, that's an example right there of what vision and patience and ability can do for running back. He was on a mission to get into the end zone, and really, he made it look easy. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. They'll return it from inside the five. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. And here comes the Florida State offense on the field. We'll see if this quarterback can shake off the interception he threw in the last possession. A handoff to the back. For the defense coordinator this week, all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back to throw. It's Uyangalale. Short throw complete to the tight end. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Offense looking to convert on third and short in the 27. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. He could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Seminoles. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. And now the try here for the extra point.
And that PAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. The kickoff team on the field now as they get set to send this one away. And he's going to bring this out from a couple of yards deep in the end zone. And he stopped at the 18. Returner trying to make a play, but a touchback would have been a better idea. And here comes the Georgia Tech offense back out on the field. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. The shotgun handoff here. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. I think this defense keeps thinking about them throwing the football, and by doing that, they're opening up running lanes. Good positive yards there by the running back. Second down here. Time for one more play before the two-minute warning. And the clock stops now for the two-minute warning as we head into the dramatic finish of this game. Second down play coming up for this offense. Scanning the field. It's King. Delivers from the pocket complete over the middle. And they keep the drive going. It's a first down to the 46. It's really good timing here between the quarterback and the receiver. And how about the receiver downfield? Does a nice job of finding that open space in the zone of the defense. And as a defense, you're just basically throwing your hands up in the air because they had that covered relatively well. Just a good play call and good execution. First down, looking to throw the football. Quarterback moving out of the pocket, trying to create. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. Boy, the defense trying to get after this quarterback. I love the concept. I love the idea. Here, they don't give up the big play. They prevent him from getting out and picking up huge yards. Now they've got to hustle to the line and get set. Looking to pass here on second down. The short completion of the tight end. The Yellow Jackets pick up enough for a first down here. Well, this is called settling down in his own defense, just kind of finding that soft spot. So not only does this tight end show that he's got great athletic ability and great size, here he shows that he understands coverage by sitting down in that hole, giving the quarterback a nice target, able to pick up that first down. And looking to throw now on first down. Looking for the wideout. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Well, I'll tell you what. This guy's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. And here we are late in the game. He needs to continue to play with that consistency. And that's a great example that he's up to it. And the Yellow Jackets begin a new series here. First and ten. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And the quarterback keeps it here. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And now the timeout is called by the defense. They've got some things to work out here. But there's the defense stepping up and making a nice play. Let's face it, this quarterback has been tough to deal with. He's been able to run and pick up some good yards, but this time, the defense is in position, and they tack one for a loss. And now the defense will call a timeout before this critical down, just to get everybody on the same page. Well, anytime you use your quarterback as a runner, the goal is obviously to hit some big plays. You've got to be careful of letting your quarterback take too many big hits. Not only can he get tired, he can also start to fumble the football. And it's good. Pandemonium here. They've taken the lead in the final seconds. How about that clutch kick here for the kicker? Gives him the lead. But remember, there's still time up on the clock. This game is not over just yet. So after coming away with three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. 
return begins inside the 10. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Seminoles offense comes back on the field. They've got some time to work with. Do they go for a touchdown here or play it more conservatively and set up for a field goal try? Tackle made after a solid game. They'll spot the ball for 31. Just a good job of spreading the wealth, making sure everybody's getting their touches. When you do that, the defense can't lock in on one guy or two guys. Make them have to be aware of everybody and allows you to continue to spread the ball around and spread the field, making it tougher for this defense. Offense has a ways to go to get into field goal range. They need some big plays, and time is winding down. Looking downfield, it's Uyangala Lay. And it's complete. What a grab by the receiver right near the sideline. Well, Chris, just like this in the fourth quarter, you're working this two-minute drill. It's a one-possession game. Every single time you can get first downs and out of bounds, that's exactly what you do to want to move the ball down the field and eventually put it into the end zone. Offense getting set here, needing some big plays to get into field goal range. The clock winding down. Let's it fly out of the wideout. It's caught downfield. Heads out of bounds after a solid gain, more than enough to pick up a first down. So out comes the field goal unit, one of the biggest moments in this kicker's life. And a timeout stops the clock with just seven seconds remaining in the game. So a chance to tie the game here in the final minute of play. And he makes it. Wow, from 55 yards out. Well, how about that? This guy comes in with all the pressure in the world, and he ties it up. I think we might be looking at some extended time in this one. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. they will return it from inside the 10-yard line. And the coverage team able to bring him down. So tied up after regulation, we go to overtime. Remember, in college football, it's dueling possessions. In the second overtime, if we get there, you have to go for two points if you score a touchdown. And the third overtime, Kirk, just becomes a series of two-point tries. And I know that's your favorite, to see if we can get to that third series of these overtimes. I love extra football, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see who's going to win it. So here comes our first play of overtime. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. Running back grabs it on the screen. Runner scoops out of bounds after gaining decent yards. first time yards before they finally bring him down. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. Now it's second down here. 
That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. down coming up in the red zone can they keep the drive going or will they have to settle for three here's the handoff defense able to stop it it's fourth down now so now the field goal team has had here trying to take the lead here in overtime that one right through and they've regained the lead and that one my gosh I mean it's almost too easy nice kick and that completion Kirk puts him over 300 yards passing today yeah anytime a quarterback has a day like this really it all has to come together with the offensive line play receivers running these great routes and he's just in sync he's kind of in that zone right now and he'll be the first one to tell you how much his teammates have helped him out today So after the incompletion, it's second down. Quick throw caught on the left side. Defense reacts quickly, a very short gain on the play. It's a challenging third down play here. Can the offense keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for a game-tying field goal? Dropping back, it's Uyangalale. Worked over the middle, but it's incomplete. So on fourth down, it's an all-important field goal attempt. Hold your breath here. And now the defense calls timeout, trying to get organized and come up with a stop here in overtime. So here it is, a pressure moment. The field goal team on the field, a lot riding on this kick. And it's good, a pressure field goal to stay in the game and force another OT. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. So we're still tied now, heading into the first play of double overtime. Look at now throwing here to start the drive. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And the tackle is made. The screen pass there produces a solid gain. The Seminoles looking to take advantage of the red zone trip here. Quarterback looking to throw it on second down. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line for a third and four. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. That's reeled in. It's Toa Fili. They bring him down, but not before he gains first down yardage. And the Knowles come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. On first and ten, we'll get a throw. Oh, it's incomplete. That's a good job of the defender to break that up. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. That's the RPO caught to the right. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Defense, 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 defense. 
An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Looking to throw again. In for a touchdown to claim the lead in double overtime. And now a two-point try coming up. That's why he's a dangerous scrambler. The quarterback says, I'm just going to end this scoring drive right here. I'll do it myself. And everybody's covered downfield. The defense has done a pretty good job of containing the offense. The problem is this guy's creativity. I don't know, maybe put a spy, a linebacker on him to try to mirror him when he takes off to scramble. So they score the touchdown. Now by rule, they must go for two here in second overtime. To the air, it's Wiangalale. He did not get in. They stopped him, and the lead remains at six here in overtime. So pressure on this offense. They must answer with a touchdown to stay in this game. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. He's got it near the end zone. Brought down at the three-yard line, but this offense now has a first down and goal right there. So needing to reach the end zone to keep this game alive, it's first and goal now. From the shotgun, drops back looking for an open man. And that pass is hauled in over the middle. He'll be stopped short a couple yards from the goal line. Coming up, second down and goal. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. A strong overtime answer. Well, they did the tough part here by coming up with this touchdown. The game is tied. Now, of course, the rule in that second overtime, you got to go for two. Let's see what their favorite two-point play is. See if they can win it. So it all comes down to this. If they make their two-point try, it's game over. Chance to win it right now. Back to pass. It's King. Looking for his big tight end. No, he didn't get in. The defense makes a stand. They stop him. And now we're headed to triple overtime. Okay, so now we've got dueling two-point conversions from here on out to decide this game. Enormous pressure on every snap. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. They get the two-point conversion to jump on top here deep in overtime. And now this offense must respond with a two-point try to keep this game going. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. No, he stops short, and it's game over. This defense rises up and wins it right there. 